Let's do a few examples on long division with money and five digit numbers. Divide and check with multiplication. So you can see in this problem we have a decimal point. So all you got to do is line it up and it's set up ready for you. So let's do the division problem. Three goes into two. No, it does not. Three does not go into two. So you could put a zero here. Three goes into twenty-five. How many times? Uh, the closest would be eight. 3 times 8 is 24. 25 minus 24 is going to give you 1. Bring down the 4. 3 goes into 14. How many times the closest would be 4? 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, 14 minus 12 is going to be, give me 2. Bring down the 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. So I have $8.47. Now I could check this answer. Let's see and eight dollars and forty seven cents times three seven times three is twenty one four times three is twelve plus the two is going to give you fourteen carry the one eight times three is twenty four plus the one is going to give me twenty five so as you can see it matches so my final answer to this would be eight dollars and forty seven cents this is the final answer here we have five digit numbers so the only difference between the four digit and five digit, this one has five digits, as simple as that. So three does three go to six? Yes, it does. So three times two is six. Six minus six is zero. Bring down the three. Three goes into three one times. Three times one is three. Three minus three is zero. Bring down the seven. 3 goes into 7 2 times. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down the 0. Um, 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. So now we have 10 minus 9 is going to give us 1. Bring down the 2. 3 goes into 12 4 times. So 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 minus 12 is 0. Now I can check out my answer. So I have 21,000. 234 and I would multiply that by 3 so 4 times 3 is 12 carry the 1 3 times 3 is 9 plus the 1 is going to give me 10 carry the 1 3 times 2 is 6 plus the 1 is going to give me 7 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 2 is 6 and as you can see I get the same result right here so my answer to this would be 21,200 and 34. So this is my final answer right here. Okay, here is a it's a little word problem right here. But Joe bought a 358 $358.60 camera in a store. His dad paid 100 of it for him and the rest of the payment was divided into four equal monthly payments. How much was each payment? So the Joe bought the camera for $358.60. And his dad gave him a hundred dollars for it. So first we would just subtract three hundred fifty-eight dollars and sixty cents minus the hundred dollars that his dad gave him. So zero minus zero is zero. Six minus zero is six. Line up the decimals. Eight minus zero is eight. Five minus zero is five. Three minus three. I mean three minus one is going to give me two. So I get two hundred fifty-eight dollars. And 60 cents. Now I want to know this. I want to know the rest of the payment was divided into four equal, equal monthly payments. So I want to figure out how much was each payment. And I would, what I would do is, do is uh, 258 dollars and 60 cents divided by four. So I would write it out like this. So, um, so there's your division, long division problem, and. Remember to line up your decimal places, always. So four goes into uh, zero times. Four goes into twenty-five. Uh, closest would be four times six is twenty-four. So twenty-five minus twenty-four is going to be one. Bring down the eight. Um, four goes into eighteen. Uh, four times four times four. Four times four is going to give me sixteen. Eighteen minus sixteen is going to give me two. 
bring down to six. Four goes into twenty-six. Uh, six times four times six is going to give me twenty-four. So six minus four is going to give me two. Bring down the zero. So four goes into twenty-five times. So twenty minus twenty is going to give me zero. And so the each payment for the four equal monthly payments would be sixty-four dollars and sixty-five cents. Now I can check that out by doing sixty-four dollars and sixty-five cents times four. So five times four is twenty. Carry the two. Six times four is twenty-four. Plus the two is going to give me twenty-six. So carry the two. Four times four is sixteen. Plus the two is going to give me eighteen. So I carry the one. Six times four is twenty-four. Plus the one is going to give me twenty-five. And I, and I line up the decimal point, of course. And you can see I, I get the same result right here. So the final answer to this would be sixty-four dollars and sixty-five cents. And these are the that's how much each payment would be for the four months. Each monthly payment. So this would be the monthly payment. Monthly payment for each of the four months. So that's the final answer right there. So we, let's now move on to a few exercise problems so we understand the concept. What are we doing here?